I'm here for dining with Darius Cooks in a little town called Altamonte Springs. And uh, they say there's a seafood joint that's out here that first of all is black owned. So, you know, we love that. And they say it is absolutely outstanding. I happen to love seafood. I love when I come to a region like this and you get the freshest seafood, the freshest local fare. I don't know about y'all, but I'm hungry. I'm excited and I'm ready to go and take a look at something fishy. Black owned. They seem nice. There's a happy hour. Well, it's over. It's from three to five. Ooh, let's see what we're gonna have. They have soup of the day. Pound of shrimp. Oh, we got fried okra. With black eyed pea salad and house sauce. Okay, house sauce. Fried salmon bites. We know where that came from, don't we? Uh, fish and chips. Okay, they've got tacos. Cheese grits with green onion. Okay, this might be, um, oh, this is the second menu. Okay, so I probably should decide what I'm gonna have, right? They got blackberry or they got white sangria. That sounds amazing. And then, oh, they got a seafood scampi. Oh, it's got truffle oil though. No, thank you. I said maybe they can make it without truffle oil. I don't know how y'all eat truffle oil. It's so strong. Like the moment I smell it, it's just a no for me. So we shall see. Hi. Okay, what can I get you to drink while you're out there? I saw something frozen circling around. What, mm -hmm. What's that? It's a, a dole with pineapple Is it? Mm -hmm. I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. Is it, it's not a, it's a dessert though. No, I mean, you can eat it as a dessert, but it's a frozen drink. Is it? Yeah. I'll take that. Okay, with I'll, whipped cream? Is that how I should have it? Uh, if you like whipped cream, my tummy says no. Yeah, I should probably say no to Okay. Right? Yeah, Is okay. Just one or two? Uh, make it two. I'm sure he'll, he'll want one. Okay, yeah. let me grab that. Thank you. Pineapple dope. I just saw, so I watch these um, YouTube videos every night before I go. Y'all don't know this about me, but you might know this if you're on Instagram. I take edibles every night to go to sleep and indica, like 50 milligrams at least. I'd be so high. But um, I watch YouTube videos at nighttime, like the most random. I watch the earwax removal videos. I watch any video about an airplane, the airplane documentaries. I'm a nerd, okay? A sexy one, but I'm a nerd. Anyway, um, I was watching, like in my algorithm right now, it's um, the what I ate at Disney or like, you know, people like rate the best thing they had. And somebody had just mentioned pineapple dough whip. And I was like, I've never had that before. I don't even know how that tastes. So I'm around the corner from Disney. That's probably why they have it. Okay, so we'll see what that tastes like when it comes to the table. Pineapple dough whip. Oh, I get it. It's really sweet. I'm like a pineapple slushy. with air mixed in it. I get it. Coconut rum. Put that in here. And it's a party. They just brought us out some fried okra. Um, it's, I can't tell if it's homemade or like, you know, out of a bag and then fried. Out of a bag and fried. Mm. 
Okay. Definitely out of a bag and fried. Okra by itself, zero flavor. No salt, no pepper, pretty much nothing. But this Remulade literally more than makes up for it. This Remulade is spicy, tangy, sweet. Start the show. Okra by itself, one out of five. It's like you're chewing fried air. Remulade by itself, five out of five. Okra with the Remulade, three out of five. Pineapple dough whip, it's a little sweet for me, but a solid three out of five. Three and a half out of five. Shrimp and grits. Let's check these out. I like to do the grits by themselves first just to see what's going on with the grit situation. I mean, they're not bad. I could certainly eat these grits. Um, let me see if I can put this into words for y'all. The grits are cooked well, a little too thick. Touch of heavy cream, could probably balance them out. And in terms of flavor, they're really good, but it's not giving me permeating flavor. It's just giving me, we did a little garlic powder situation, that's all we did. So, but they're seasoned um, and good with these beautiful shrimp. Yeah. Solid four out of five. Five out of five if I had a little citrus and if the grits were not as like thick. That's what I mean when I say thick, because I like, I like thick grits. This is what I mean. You see that? So like, they're thick, but they're almost solid in terms of being thick. So, you know. Although I like a little, it looks like a little heavy cream. Balance it out. Now we have fried salmon bites with teriyaki. How bad could this be? Let me see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's the teriyaki. Throwing it off for me. Because salmon already has like a distinct flavor. And the teriyaki is like overwhelmingly soy and gingery. Mm. Mm. I would enjoy that better with ranch or hot sauce. So, but if you like the idea of soy sauce and ginger and all that, then you'll enjoy that. For me, not so much. So I'm gonna give the uh, fried fish more like a two out of five. The grits, a solid three out of five. All right, we got a few more things coming. So uh, we'll check it out when she gets here. Fish and chips have arrived. She said it was snapper. Mmm. Okay, I will admit, the fish by itself, yeah, but these people know how to do a sauce the right way. This tartar sauce, Irish world, and they have Crystal's hot sauce, okay, which I'm always here for. Hot sauce. And tartar or hot sauce. That combo with the tartar and the hot sauce takes me back to 5909 West Race, Chicago, Illinois, 60644 on the third floor with Pamela. Shit, get away, get away, get away. Takes me back to 5909 West Lake Street. Chicago, Illinois, 60644, the third floor. Pamela Elizabeth Garth used to fry fish every Friday. The combo of the tartar and the hot sauce, 
takes me right back to my grandmother's kitchen. It's really good. Last few items just showed up. So I did order the, I don't want you to be too confused. I did order the uh, lobster roll, but he said he didn't like the way the lobster roll was looking. So he made me the shrimp po' boy instead. I think that was more like a cop out because maybe they didn't have it or something like that. And he saw us with a camera. So I think they probably got one to us, but it is what it is. I like a po' boy. This Remulot is on here, so we know that's gonna be good. Um, what's this? This is, fi oh, I don't know what kind of fish this is though. Cause I don't want that swai fish. So let me remake this with a piece of shrimp instead. They have that, they have that swai, you know. This is why I, I think about swai and tilapia. My grandma didn't eat that, I'm not eating it. Okay, that stuff just came out a few years ago. I don't want it. That's legit as shit. Five out of five. The bun, toasted, buttered beautifully. Crunch to it. Shrimp is fried beautifully. Slaw on the bottom. Remoulade is poking through. I mean, as simple as it sounds, it is super complex and Five out of five. Let me try this um, salad. Black eyed pea something or other. Now I only like black eyed peas one way in Hoppin' John, but let's see. I got a whole good spoonful of it, of it. So we gotta commit to it. Here we go. Okay. It's not bad. Actually, it is really good. So I get the creaminess from the black eyed pea. There's a vinegar happening in the background, but it's not strong vinegar. It's like vinegar and it's balanced, as I can appreciate. Balanced and sweet. I get it. I'm a fan. Black eyed pea salad. And this whole po' boy situation. Although I really want the lobster roll. Let me tell you something. Must be a ram in the bush because this remoulade is some kind of delicious. Okay. Green beans. These are their vegetable. They're fresh. Not canned, not frozen. I can appreciate that. Garlic butter, that's it. Very little salt. Very little pepper. Hmm. Let's rate. Green beans. Two, three out of five. Nothing spectacular about those. Um, the fish and chips with the fried snapper, solid with the fish and the uh, hot sauce and the tartar. That is a really solid four out of five. Um, this po' boy situation, hands down, five out of five. I'm looking for my fork. Oh, it's right here. Because there's another slaw that's right here. And this slaw does not look like store bought it looks sort of homemade let me see mm, mm. slaw's okay needs sugar i like a sweet slaw with a little bit of like golden raisin when it's about it's okay stars of the show though po boy fish and chips star of the show the remoulade helps with the fried okra shrimp and grits are good just kind of thick on the uh grits but other than that, you should enjoy it. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is all mine. Did you tell you don't come? No. no you said, yeah, you, you picture no. closed at 7.30. No. <laughs> How did you find us? I Google. Oh. Google. Yeah, plus I can just ask. I mean, I got, yeah. I got tons. I think uh, one of your customers came in, one of my followers. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, and recognized she me. She's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Like, who? Yeah, I know. And people, you're like, I don't know who he is. I don't know. Right. But I'm going to make sure he but, like his food. No, it was, ama it was, it was amazing. Oh, and then good, with good. the cameras and stuff, you know, sometimes people be like, What's this? So I said, can we sit outside? We didn't want to cause no, any definitely. issues or problems. We're starting to do a pop-up shops here. You should. You should. Chefs, chefs of color, we're going to call You them. should. You should. I, that, I think that would be amazing. Like I said, I have a huge, I think on Facebook alone, it's like 1.6 million followers wow. on Facebook. Wow. So amazing. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so this is my videographer. He travels with me everywhere. So the review will be up. 
I'll give you guys a shout out, let you know where you can find the review. It'll be on my YouTube channel, Thank that you. kind of thing. Thanks, and then whatever I can do to help with the pop-up. Okay, I'm, yes. I'm not saying I'm coming to cook. No, I'm not saying no, that. No, no, no. All right. We picked a local um, caterer. Did you? The the first first one. Yeah, but I, have, but I have the audience, right? right. I have the people. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So okay. whatever I can do to help, whatever I can do to help. Maybe Derek, we'll give away two tickets. Could, beautiful. Darius Cooks is the name, okay? okay. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. Good night. All right. Thank you. Three words, I am stuffed. When I tell you, oh boy, if you need a good seafood fix, a good fried fish, a good shrimp and grit fix, a good fried okra, a good rivulon, all I'm missing, honestly, is the light bread and the red Kool-Aid. That's pretty much it. Everything else about this place is amazing. It's a quaint little joint out here in the strip mall out here in uh, Central Florida. If you're ever in the Orlando area, black owned establishment. If I'm gonna do this work, I gotta support my brothers and my sisters. So if you're ever out in the Orlando area, come on down here to something fishy and get you a piece of shrimp with the most amazing remoulade you will ever, ever, ever have. Cause I wanna put mine in a glass with some ice and a straw and drink it, all right? That's how good it was.